one video that really exploded this YouTube channel was my discovery of HLG, which is a wild trick that we have on these LG TVs to get more brightness over SDR content, okay? So it works for everything, <laughs> movies, games, PC, the consoles. It works on the PS5 too, okay? And I know that there's still a lot of people using it. So you come here, step on select mode, 1113111, and you change this EOTF to HLG. That's it. <laughs> That's what I said on that video. I was so excited, man. Really, really, really. You can see it on my face. That's why this video has so many uh, views. And it looks cool. Okay, it's something that you can try. It looks very good, very nice. It looks brighter. So because it looks brighter, it looks better. The colors get a little bit wild, which a lot of people enjoy. So now we know better now. I've learned so much. Since I made that video, I mean, how, how old is this video? Let me see. This is from July 7, 2022. Okay, so that's more than a year ago. I've learned a lot. Okay, I've been making one video a day or more on this YouTube channel. And, and I learn a lot from people. Okay, so we know better now. I no longer recommend it, especially on the PC. But I was thinking today, man, I know there's still a lot of people using this and I might be able to improve it a, a little bit. So I'm not going to tell you, oh, it is now fixed. I fixed the HLG or HLG is back or something like that. But what I'm going to share with you is the work that I did today. Okay, so I tried today everything I know. Try to fix the color. So what's the problem with the colors when you do this? You get like a red push that sometimes looks better and you might like it more than if it was accurate, but sometimes it looks very, very, very wrong, very incorrect. I kind of fix it, okay, but it is not fixed. It still looks wild. I'm going to show you, I, you know, I have my Pioneer Kuro Plasma TV for comparison. And the main thing that you're going to see is, of course, this looks brighter. And the second thing is the color temperature, okay? The plasma, the color temperature is a lot warmer. This is a cool color temperature settings, what I'm going to share with you. And the reason why it has to be cool is to fix that red push. That was the only way I was able to f not fix it, but improve it a little bit, okay? So we're talking about 7400K, <laughs> okay? So that's cool. That's very cool. And I know a lot of people like cool settings. I've never recommended any cool settings on the channel yet. So these are the first vivid mode cool settings <laughs> a video I'm, I'm going to make on the channel. It looks good. Okay, uh, let me tell you that. I'm not promise, I don't promise you that this is going to look correct. But I promise you that if you try it, you might like it. Again, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I am used to this color temperature. I like it more. But I have to be honest with you right now. This looks better than my Pioneer Kuro Plasma TV. Why it looks better? For the same reason that if I try an ice cream right now, for example, I'm going to like it, of course. But now I don't buy ice cream. I never, ever, ever buy an ice cream. Why? Because it's crap. Okay, and I want to be healthy. I want to feel fantastic. I want to be able to do 40 pull-ups. But if I if if I try it, I'm going to like it. So it's the same thing is happening here. I like that. I am used to that. But side by side, you are going to like a brighter picture, a cooler picture, period. I don't care if you are a professional, a Anyone, it is just the way our brain works, okay? Brighter, more colorful, you're gonna like it more. Now, I'm talking about first impressions. It's like an ice cream. You, you get the first spoon, wow, you're gonna see the stars. After a second, third spoon, it becomes normal. The level of a stimulation is like, it goes down because you get used to it. 
Every time you get a high stimuli, the ner nervous system is going to numb down the senses and you're going to get used to it. So it's going to lose the effect very quickly. Okay. This is not better. A cooler co color temperature is not going to be better. But anyway, this is one day's work, the best of my knowledge and abilities to fix the HLG colors. And it is something you can try and see if you like it. You might love it. Okay. <laughs> you might love this series I'm going to share with you here. And it works for the consoles. So let's see what we're talking. Let's see what we're doing here. So we're going to have to use either a service remote. Okay or a PC with a color control app. Because we have to, in order to change the white balance, we have to access the service menu. Because when you force HLG, the white balance is locked. You cannot change it. You cannot do a two point calibration or a 22 point calibration on the regular menu for some reason, because, a, because LG loves to lock settings. You cannot do it. See, it is locked. So I cannot do any adjustments here. That's why I have to access the service menu. So, you know, full disclosure, do this at your own risk. So you would have to use this color control app, link in the description of the video. They changed the way you access the service menu. So now you have to go to settings, settings, and then you have to check this box that says show advanced actions under the expert button. Okay, when you check that box, and you click OK, boom, you're going to get a message that says, be careful, you're about to access the service menu, you can mess up your TV, and the creators of this app are not responsible for any damage. Okay, so do this at your own discretion. So now you have to come to here, expert, easy adjust, okay? So here on easy adjust, you can change the white balance, which is what we need. We need to have access to that so we can tweak the picture. So I have some, some pictures here side by side to help us with this. Uh, so yeah, so we have to come here to white balance, you see? And now we have three options here, cool, medium, and warm, okay? So we need to use warm because we're going to use warm 50. Okay, so we have warm 50, we have we need to use warm here. So we're going to change the white balance with these settings. You can come down here to this test pattern and turn it off so you can see the screen or you can just use 80% 80, 80 uh, signal level or 100% and you can calibrate doing that. So now, what I did here was I use the color temperature meter app on my phone to do this calibration. And my recommendation before you do any calibration is to copy the values, the default values. So you make sure that you can default back to those values if you don't like it, okay? Or just to watch regular HDR content. So this is not convenient. But if you use HLG all the time, this is an option. The other thing, very important, do not hit reset, okay? If you hit reset, you're going to go back to factory settings, which is not a problem, but there is a problem. If you go and access the service menu, so then if you go here to um, expert in start, you will see that your the hours of the TV are going to be reset and also you're going to get like a null, like um, like a zero. That's gonna tell, it's like a red flag, basically. That's gonna tell the technicians if you need to claim the warranty or something, it's gonna tell them that you did that, that you hit reset, okay? So do not hit reset, don't do it. Or don't, if you have a service remote, do not hit in stop, okay? So those are the two things you have to be careful. Do not hit reset. And the second thing is just copy the original values, okay? Aside from that, this is not dangerous at all, okay? And even if you hit reset, it's not a big deal, but this is not dangerous. You just, you know, copy the original values so you can default back. 
So you can see here the settings. I changed the red, gain, red, green, and blue. This is like a two-point calibration, the high value, okay? And the cut, this is like the low value on the two-point calibration. So I only touched this uh, red, green, and blue gain, and you can see the values here. Red, 130, green, 122, blue, 116. So now, why? <laughs> okay. I was just trying to get rid of that red push and I keep I kept the same green to magenta balance, okay? Using the color temperature meter app on my phone, I am using my camera. So I am using these test patterns. Like for example, I can come here to this test pattern, 80%, 80 IRE, and I can use that color temperature meter app to make sure that with whatever changes I do here, I keep the same green to magenta balance. That's the most important thing in my experience with the knowledge that I have. I do not have a colorimeter. I am not a TV calibrator. I am not a professional. I am someone playing around with TV settings, sharing that with you. You try it. If you like it, you use it. If you don't, you don't use it. It's that simple, okay? So in my experience, the most important thing is to make sure that the green to magenta balance is the same. So when you do that, when you have the same green to magenta balance as the factory settings, you don't get green looking faces or red looking faces. That's it. The skin tones, you don't get the red skin tones or green skin tones, okay? So that's it. These are the settings. And on the TV, let me show you the settings, the regular TV settings that I am using. You can see here some examples. So we come here to brightness. I am using HGIG. And also I am increasing this screen brightness to 51 to fix a little bit of black crush. So when you use HLG, you get a little bit of black crush. And previously I recommended Tom mapping off for HLG. I am recommending HGIG because I see some near black issues, some inconsistencies near black with the gradients when using tone mapping off. So HGIG and screen brightness 51 was the only way to get that near black test pattern looking perfect. This near black test pattern that I've recommended before, uh, let me show you. I mean, you're not, you're, not, you're not gonna be able to see it here on this video because it is too, it is too dark, but this near black test pattern that I've recommended before, that's what I use to make sure that the near black was looking uh, pretty good. So that's the only that was the only way to get the near black um, visibility right, and it looks brighter than tone mapping off. The mid tones look brighter, okay? Not the highlights because the mid tones look brighter. The highlights are going to look a little bit less. Uh, punchy, but the TV is trying to push as much brightness as possible, which is what people want anyway. So that's it. The sharpness is was intent just because I didn't notice that. I just changed this right now. So just keep that sharpness in zero. Then come here to color depth 50. And now we're going to use this color gamut on native. Game optimizer mode, PC mode, this color gamut is locked. So if you're using console mode, you can change it. But if you're using PC mode on a PC, you can use the color control app to change that. So all you have to do is come here to uh, the color control app and come to expert, picture, color gamut, and you can change it from auto. So it's gonna be default to auto. So you see right now it's auto detect. You have to change that from auto detect to Native and you will see let me show you the color saturation difference You see it's a, it's gonna, it's, it's a big big difference when you do that And we have to do that otherwise the colors are are a little bit um, Desaturated so let me show you look at this red color right here. Well, you cannot see it. Okay, this red color right here Expert picture color gamut Native boom you see that red color is going to pop more. So all the colors get more saturated. And 
warm 50 that's it those are the settings give it a try see how you like it let me show you some other side by side comparisons yeah I'm sh I know you cannot see the plasma completely but just it's just too big <laughs> just take a look at the difference in in the color saturation and the and the white balance this looks very very saturated so yeah man that was an attempt um, an attempt to give something to my console <laughs> my console gamers this is something you can try it looks very nice and yeah let me know <laughs> it, it looks wild okay the colors look very saturated it looks brighter and that red push is not as big of a problem with these settings I recommended without white balance adjustment I tried to get rid of that red push and the yellows looking kind of orange too the yellows uh, so I think that the yellows are looking more yellow now than orange but that red push is still there okay there's no way to completely fix that with what I know so far but give it a try man this looks for ev this works for everything all games consoles movies absolutely everything and it is a way to get more brightness and a brighter picture looks better whether you like it or not <laughs> i don't care who you are it looks better like initially this in the same way an ice cream is going to taste good it is inevitable okay it will taste <laughs> very good the first spoon so now if you're a professional if you're used to a warmer color temperature long run you're not going to enjoy it okay but not everyone is like that so try it and yeah i don't get more excited with these settings because this is not correct this is not something that i can say oh it's fixed now this is something still wild okay but a lot of people like it wild that's why i'm sharing this with you and i really worked very hard today on these settings man really really I've been the <laughs> whole day trying to figure out this thing and I think this this is a good result what I got here this looks good <laughs> I just don't want to get I don't want to get very very excited because it is not correct but it looks good this is ice cream here okay so I might call this video the ice cream <laughs> settings for your LG OLED something like that We'll figure it out. So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.